welcome back to learning partners so this is like seventh episode of angular tutorial so till now we have completed the directives uh, component data binding and basic things we have completed now we are going to see routing so angular or react or vue.js so all the applications frameworks like techno these are the different technology which are single page application that is spu spa single page application so what do we mean by single page application as in we will have only a physical one html page that will be continuously rendering and in that html page our ui only will get changed page will be constant so what do we mean by single page application and how uh, previous applications were there so let me just open the w3 school website let it load so now you can see currently we are in the bootstrap page now if i click on javascript just pay attention over here and over here so when i click on the javascript page is reloading means it another request is going to the server and it is calling the physical page of javascript just like that so if i click on again css again here uh, ser uh, server request will be there and again it will the it will call the physical page so this is the traditional approach how application used to before single page application but after single page application there won't be a server side request only all the html part will be loaded in a single uh, in a single request and then we will best just create the dynamic ui okay so this is the basic like how you you should know like how applications were before and what is the single page application now now so up till now what uh, again like what we are going to cover so i will explain like what is routing how what is the route object how to create route how to implement navbar for navigation just like on click of that particular route should be activated and how do we redirect first we will see from .ts how do we navigate and from html also so these are the things which we are going to discuss now so when we create the angular project in build we have a routing library also so we everyone knows like angular is a single page application but to achieve multiple page based navigation means from one page we can uh, we are able to navigate to another page just like w3 see we are able to navigate from one page to another by using this navbar so uh, so to achieve this kind of behavior we have to use routing library okay so we don't need to do install and every anything because by default it is available so when we create the project we get one file that is app route.ts so this is now to, now a constant file but in previous version we used to have this as a module app routing module.ts was there but now it is just a constant file where we can create the route so here you can see we have an array is already created now this is an array so inside this array we have to create a route object so object enter so now route object we have to create so in that route object one mandatory field is path so path is nothing but url of your component for all the component we are going to create the routes means the component which we want to access by using routes those component routes should be created so how many components we have created so let's say add employee so now add emp this is the route name i am giving then if in my url we have add hyphen emp which component we have to render so we have to specify component now here we have to specify the component name so add employee so here you can see it is suggesting once you click on it import will be automatically added so we have to provide the class name of that component so this is my route okay so this is my route basic okay so again this is an routes array so this is one route then second route again we can create path empty then second route so let's say data binding hyphen binding and on this route which component we have to open so data binding so data binding so you can see it is suggesting you just click on enter it will add the import statement as well let's create the remaining also then we have employee list so again path colon emp list component employee list let's create directives also again path structural dir component structural directive sorry 
just like that we will create for attribute also so these are the components we have created till now it's not like mandatory that you should give a hyphen it's your name whatever the name you think which is descriptive you can give it let's make it attribute capital small hyphen anything you can use component will be attribute like this okay so these are the routes we have created this is nothing but route object route object consists of so many things but these are the two mandatory things if we add comma and see these are the various properties we have in the route object okay again we are going to discuss this in detail but in this video i'm just keeping it to basic like uh, title is there, can activate, data, children, load component, outlet, so many things are there, providers, redirect, so many things are there. But in this episode, we are just going to focus on the basic thing. Right, so we have created our routes. Now, after creating the routes, next thing is, as our app component is our parent component. Right, so here, instead of adding individual uh selector of the component now we will add our navbar over here so in index.html we have already already added the link for the bootstrap so if you have not add that just add it over here because i have not in, informed like how do we install the bootstrap till then we are going to use the cdn link now in app component app component is our parent component so this, this will be uh always be there in the dom so let's use the bootstrap navbar let's go to bootstrap bootstrap 5 Let's use the nav bar. Let's use this. I'm just using this. You can just copy the code also. Copy the nav bar. I'm keeping it over here. Okay. After nav bar, let's add the container div. And in container, we need router outlet. So router outlet is a directive, which is responsible to render activated route component. This is the simplest definition. Again, I'm repeating. Router outlet is a directive, which is responsible to render activated route component. Means out of this route, whatever the route is active, that component will be loaded over here in this router outlet. Okay. Now. Let's save and check if we are able to see the navbar. So you can see navbar is visible. After navbar, here are the links. So here we have to add the links, whatever the routes we have created. So let's say over here, employee list. Now employee list. So we have created this route for the employee list. Our route name is this. So let's copy this. Now this will go over here. So in traditional application to navigate, uh, to navigate, we used to use href, but in Angular, instead of href, we have to use router link is equal to double quote and slash you have to prove it. But from Angular 17, all components are standalone. So whatever you use, right, you need to import that. So you have to go to the dot ts, just like that, you can see router link is there. Let's remove this import statement. We don't need the component import now. Just like router outlet, you need to import router link as well. Then only you can use it, router link. Just like this, let's copy paste. Employee list, add employee, then structural directive. Let's copy. And another one is attribute. Attribute directive. And here we just have to provide the individual route name. This is add EMP will go on add EMP over here. Then employee list we have already added structural directive. And attribute directive. like this so let's save and check if we are able to navigate particular route so if we click on employee list see hello from admin is coming if we click on add employee add employee is coming if we click on structural see navigation is also getting changed and that component is getting re rendered 
But if you see over here, page is not reloading. See, page is constant. Got it? Why on structural and attribute same component is there? Let's save again. Something is not working. On attribute, URL is not getting changed. Why is it? Attribute directive. This will go over here. Okay, some spelling mistake was there. So now if I click on attribute, you can see attribute direct to page is visible. So earlier, what we used to do, we used to, in app component, we used to render particular, particular component. But now we have created routing. We have implemented routing. So we are, with the help of navbar, we are able to navigate from one component to another. Got it? So this is the basic of routing. So till now, we have covered what is routing, route object, routes also we have created. Now, navbar also we have created. Now the remaining thing is redirection. So from... Uh, if we have to uh, redirect from one component to another, so from HTML is very easy. By using this router link, you can navigate from one component to another. Let's implement that. So let's say from attribute, here I will add a button, class btn, btn, go to structural now what i need to do from attribute directive if i click on this button i need to navigate back to the structural directive so over here also i can use router link like this okay let's remove this but again if we have to use the router link we have to implement over here router link just like this so either you can do like this property binding or directly like this also both is possible either like this or like this and here you need to specify the route so let's get the route of structural so this is my structural route let's put it over here so let's save from attribute now we are trying to navigate to the structural so see currently we are in the attribute directive if we click on over here see we are successfully navigated to the structural directive this is by using html from html now if we have to navigate from .ts, means from any function or something. So now, let's copy this button. Now from structural, we will try to navigate back to the attribute. But instead of this, we can navigate from a function. Go to attribute. Now on click of it, we will navigate. So let's write a click event. Navigate to attribute. Let's create this function. So now on this button click from function, we are going to navigate means from dot ts. Now from dot ts, we have to navigate. So we have to create an instance of router service. Okay. So now here comes the extra part that is how do we create the object of injectable services? So there are two ways. First is like using constructor. So in constructor, you can write private router. It will be object of router. Okay. So this is called dependency injection. Like this is the injectable service. So once we create the object of this class, we are going to need the object of router also. So this is like dependency injection. It's a design pattern, but don't go in deep just for now remember like this is dependence injection in coming videos we will be discussing on that but just for now we need the router object that's why i'm explaining so now this dot router object which we have created dot navigate by url and we need to pass the url and structural we are in the structural so we have to navigate back to the attribute so let's get the attribute path so this is our path and we have to paste it over here so from dot ts, we are going to navigate. So if we have to navigate from one component to another in from dot ts, we have to make use of this method. And this method will come from router service. So let's see now if we are able to navigate. So currently we are in the structural, but it is not saved button. So now if we click over here, see, we are able to navigate. So from attribute, we have navigated from HTML, but from structural, we have navigated from function. So this is what we do the navigation. This is uh, from .ts by using router service. 
and from HTML by using router link. Router link, you can write like this also. This is like uh, what we can say, property binding. And normally, router link also you can use. But if you have to use the router link in component.ts import, you need to import the router link. Okay? So this is everything what I need to explain in routing. If you are new to the uh, to my channel, please do like and subscribe. That's it with the current video.